What's your last name again, Mark? Harris. Mark Harris, former chief administrative officer. Uh, just administrative officer. Excuse me. The UN just celebrated its 65th birthday. That's right. What did you get the UN for its birthday? I didn't, uh, I didn't get the UN anything. My grandmother is 71. She's not very connected with this generation, although she loves me. I'm sure the UN loves the people that it serves, but at 65, is it getting a little old to be able to address the world's challenges? Well, there's actually more and more young people joining the UN. Mm. So hopefully this new generation of people joining the UN will help to make the UN appeal to a younger audience. So in an effort to uh, move toward a younger demographic, could I, your humble TV talk show host, become an ambassador? Certainly. How? Uh, well, you'd have to do something that makes yourself very visible to the younger audience and appealing as well. So, for example, we have ambassadors like uh, Angelina Jolie, and uh, there's a lot of people I who like her. I don't look like her. No, you don't. And, and that's, um, I think, what makes her appealing to the younger generation. Exactly, exactly. So what do I have that she doesn't? Um, you have an interesting haircut. Is that enough to get me an ambassador well, of the UN? I'm, I'm afraid not. Uh -huh. But really, though, if but I was if you, had, if, you, if you could sing a good song, can you sing? I can't sing. Are you being serious with me right now, Mark Harris? Absolutely. If I could sing, I could be an ambassador to the UN? If you could sing well. So if I have 500 Facebook friends, does that qualify me as a did you know? Did you know that the Secretary General has Facebook friends? How many? I haven't checked lately, but they're probably Can we check, please? Because I would like to you know. You should check that. We should, can we have her check that out there? Not her, but like one of them that are sleeping out there. Um, I would like to know how many the Secretary General... Secretary General has... Because I wonder if I can get more people than the Secretary General to be my Facebook friend. That says something. There you go. What does it say? It says you have a lot of Facebook friends. How does the UN deal with terrorism, Mark? The UN usually condemns terrorism, and then they'll hold a meeting, and then that's usually followed by um, condemning the terrorism, and uh, right after that they'll they'll hold a meeting, and then um, more a lot of meetings, more condemning, more condemning, and more meetings right after that. Meetings, condemning, meetings. Can I give you a hypothetical situation? Let's just say terrorists from Germany, okay. Uh, take over a Japanese corporation in America, let's just say it's Los Angeles, and they want a political prisoner freed in another country, but actually they're just looking for some bonds in the bank that they've broken into. Would the UN intercede? Most likely not. Uh -huh. uh, most likely it would be left up to the police force uh, of the country where the incident occurred. We also just could leave it up to one New York City cop who happened to be in the building on Christmas Eve though, right? Certainly. I mean. If Jimmy Fallon tried to knock me off the air, could I have sanctions declared against him by the United Nations? You could try. Do people ever call it the UN? The UN. Or is it pretty clear that it's UN? It's pretty clear that it's UN. Embargo, embargo. 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 Yes. Um, would you like me to comment on an embargo? No, no I just like saying it. Oh, okay. Mark Harris, former administrative officer in the Department of Peacekeeping for the United Nations. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.